Hi, I'm Shane with Precision Turf, and today we're gonna show you a video of a Cub Cadet Pro X 600 walk around by the Cub Cadet representative himself. Uh, we are not affiliated with Cub Cadet, we're not paid by Cub Cadet, we're not a dealer or a rep. All we are doing is trying to help you make an informed decision when you're buying your next stand on mower. Our company is in the process of buying stand on mowers right now, and so we're basically interv interviewing the different mowers, testing them out, doing some demo stuff. If this video helps you in any way, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And stay tuned, within the next week or so, we're going to be releasing another video that compares three of the big stand on mowers in the industry. Very detailed. You'll want to see that one. I'm Jefferson with uh, with Cove Cadet Pro. So we're going over the uh, the new uh, uh, stand on unit for 2020. Definitely excited. This thing's taking the uh, taking the market by storm. Only going to get better from here. Uh, and so I was just telling Mr. Shane here, one of the biggest differences of ours versus anybody else is the actual suspension platform. Fully adjustable, toolless suspension platform bunch of videos on YouTube that you can check out about it uh, from us and end users very awesome there's nobody that comes close so basically depending on the weight of the rider the terrain that you're mowing on you can hop on this thing and you've got a, uh, a three setting handle right there easily reach over go down that's going to be your lightest suspension all the way up to the third setting is going to be your stiffest suspension now Jefferson I'm sure you've run this machine a decent amount where what do you weigh and what setting are you running on you never ask a gentleman his weight all right stop Very it if, if if it was a lady rep is a lady rep <laughs> we already talked about your beard now pretty you look um i'm a, i'm right at uh 200 pounds okay i put it on that second setting and just kind of leave it okay. um but i will say the the awesome part about that even though i kind of set it in the two and leave it it all depends on where i'm mowing Mm -hmm. If it's a nice pristine front yard, I'd leave it on two and never even think about it. As soon as I go through the gates and hit the backyard, if it's a little bit rougher, I might drop it on down to get a little more bounce. Um, it, it just being as easy and quick setting, you don't have to get off and relieve the pressure to adjust it or anything. I mean, literally, you don't even have to take the PTO off and uh, disengage the, the okay. blades. You just reach over and reset it. So, I mean, it can. It can easily change from this side of the driveway to that side of the driveway okay. and just be a completely different ride on there. Okay. Secondly, you've got the adjustable bolster pad. So not only does it wrap all the way around, we know you guys are going to be leaning into the sides. So instead of wearing out your knee, wearing out your fuel, wear, fuel tank, wearing mm -hmm. out your fenders, anything like that, um, literally you can push into this bolster uh, as you're kind of on those hillsides or ditches or anything like that be able to select uh, whether you want more of your thigh, knee area, upper hip area mm -hmm. by raising and lowering that bolster pad. Okay. As well as easy removal to get to all your hydros and access everything. Nice. Easily remove uh, these two, uh, two handles right there. That's gonna be even more your hydros to adjust. Your uh, your hydro dumps, it's all toolless. Okay. So full uh, 12 cc pump and wheel motor system on this thing. Typically, if you get stuck, you know, in the, the back of a property, you're going back to the trailer to get a wrench to reach in somewhere under some hot exhaust and, and dump that hydro. Okay. Ours are sitting right here. So basically, you're just going to remove these handles, pull that back, and dump that hydro right there. Okay. So it's already set up toolless. You're ready nice. to rock and roll. Okay. Put these back on, tighten them down, and, uh, and get back to mowing. Less downtime equals uh, more fun time. Five that's o'clock gets here a lot quicker. <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. Uh, working on this machine. Jefferson, let me ask you. Uh, we've run some Skag V rides in the past, and and we're we have one with the bolster pad that has seams and one without seams. The one without seams has held up longer. So does warranty cover? I'm on this all day. I'm digging my knee into it. These seams may fail at some point. Warranty. This thing fails. Does warranty cover that issue. It's just all going to depend uh, on, on scenario with stuff okay. like that. I will say this machine does have the best warranty of any stand-on ever mm -hmm. on the market. All your stand-ons have a two-year warranty no matter the brand. Ours, and that, that, that's all because of the engine. 
yeah. running the smaller horsepower engines on these things, they're only going to come. Kawasaki's going to provide the two-year warranty with it. So that's what all the manufacturers kind of stick with. Okay. We pick up that third year. This falls in line with our full pro warranty, which is the same warranty on all of our sit-down units and everything. That way it's just more uniform all the way across the board. Three-year, zero-hour limit warranty. Okay. As well as hanging below the mower where you're actually making the money, mm -hmm. your deck assembly, your spindles, your pulleys, all that's going to be a five-year warranty okay. on, the, uh, on the deck shell. No hour limit? It's got a 1750 hour limit okay. on that, and that's just the fourth and fifth year. Okay. Um, first three years, that falls into the unlimited hours. Okay, so but 1750 on the mower, 17, so if I hit 1750 in three years, then... You're talking about 1750 after three years. 1750 is just year four and five. That's the only stipulation. First okay. three, no matter what it is on okay. here, it's unlimited hours. So how how do you guys equate that? If you're do I bring mower in after three years and say, hey, we got 1,200 hours on this. Now we're going to 750. Yes. Or you get okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, okay. it's, it's the automatic factory warranty. Okay. So once your three years is up, if something happens and they go back and look. They'll go from the date of sale registration mm -hmm. and say, okay, well, it's you bought it four years ago. Right, okay. So the only thing that's still covered is going to be your deck shell, gotcha. you know, your spindles, all that type of stuff. Okay. And then they'll just look at the hours on the machine and say, okay, okay you've got 1,400 hours. That spindle's still covered under warranty. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to pause the video here. I think I need to clarify this warranty because I was a little confused. So it's 1,750 hours for year four and five. So that means is if after year three you have 1200 hours on your mower then you still get 550 hours of the deck spindle warranty that he was talking about there not not after three years you get 1750 hours more it's a, up to 1750 hours so if you have 1750 hours on your mower after year three then your warranty is up but yeah there's uh there's definitely some some creature comforts on this thing I challenge anybody, everybody that's run the stand-ons knows one of the biggest things, I'll make that go all the way down, one of the biggest things with stand-ons is just getting your back mm -hmm. lower and then raising that deck. This thing okay. right here, Mr. Will, come over here. Will, should I ask you how much you weigh? <laughs> <laughs> so this thing already has the uh, the thickest deck in the industry it's already over 200 pounds of steel just hanging okay. and then mr will here uh with his quarantine 20 going on yeah. <laughs> uh, adds a little bit to that but even with will on there there's no problem with me i mean all the way down to the ground racing it all the way back up with zero effort you guys have some smart engineers they're uh, they're above my pay grade. Yeah, man, that's Trust me. I've that's got pretty a, uh, incredible. Arkansas public school education. So, <laughs> you know, that, that's why I'm out here selling them, and they're yeah, the ones engineering. That's right. Um, but like I was kind of mentioning, thickest deck in the industry. That's uh, that's our stand on as well as the full pro line. Okay. Same deck uh, that's on our pro line as far as the uh, the triple plated seven gauge. I mean, it's it, it's just it's a bad mamma jam. Okay. You'll absolutely love it. What about uh, ease of maintenance? Um, getting in there and working on pulleys and stuff. So if grease points are uh, are something that you absolutely love and you love having to work doesn't every on doesn't every lawn care guy love loves. grease and mowers? <laughs> the guy that loves grease and mowers is going to hate this mower. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, we have zero grease okay. on this thing. That's awesome. Uh, besides changing your oil and filter and air filter mm -hmm. and all that type of stuff, I mean it's, yep. it's basically maintenance. Okay. Now, what about the one thing that I uh, want to know about? We got a Kawasaki FX801V on this mower. I know you guys don't offer right now an EFI version, but is that something that we're looking for in the future? Always. Okay. Always. We're always looking for ways to make it uh, make it better and give the people what they want. Okay. We're a company um, that really listens. One of the the big acronyms with MTD Cub Cadet, especially is lab listen act build the first step in that is listen we don't build anything because we think it'll sell we don't build anything because ah we need this we listen first to what the people are saying that they want and how they want it um and and how we can 
make it better. We're not out to reinvent the wheel, but we always want to make it go faster, look prettier, and hold up longer. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so listen first, build last. And that's, that's where we are with like the EFIs and stuff, just listening to requests. If the requests are big enough and that's what the people want, we're going to have it. Okay. just finding out which one's going to work best, fit best, um, both on the machine and the pocketbook. Okay. We want you know we want to give the people what they want in the price range that they they want to pay for. Awesome. All right. You guys heard it. That was Jefferson. Heard it here he, first. He knows his stuff. Good salesman, but it also looks like that Cocadet has a great product here. So now it's time to test it out. We're going to get him some, some tall Bahia nasty Texas grass. Here we go. All right. Keep a lookout for the next within the next week or so, we're gonna release a video that's going over the differences between three of the stand-on mowers in the industry that are pretty good stand-on mowers. We're gonna give a lot of information for that, so make sure to uh, stay tuned for that.